another week, another tent. <laughs> That's exactly what I've gone and done again. I've uh, picked up this really cheap little tent to replace my uh, high gear soloista. Really cheap, basic little tent from Go Outdoors. Basically, it's seen better days and it's fallen apart. Now, this one I thought is a similar design to it. Okay, so it's, it's that same sort of uh, sort of wedge wedge shaped sort of tent, one man tent. It's about the same weight. It's just a different brand, different company. I thought I'd give it a go, see if it's any different. I've seen these about a few times before. I've always thought of getting one. They always, I always seem to miss them. The auction ends. What it is, you've probably all seen reviews of these. You might even own one yourself. It is a Gillette Solo one-man tent. Fits into a nice, convenient little package like that. Weather checked, it says. Uh, I don't know if there's any more specs on it. I haven't got the specs with me at the moment. So, yeah, it's very similar to the High Gear Soloista one-man tent, which, let's say, it's got a couple of sort of little tears and stuff in it, and I just thought I'd change it up. I'll get rid of it, get something else, and... Uh, yeah, like these sort of wedge shaped tents, they're all sort of the same sort of thing really. So I thought what I'd do, and they're usually really cheap as well, so I thought what I'd do is I'll just try a different one out each time and just use it as my tent that I can sort of chuck around a bit, you know, and just, yeah, it can take a bit of a beating because it's just a cheap tent. And then, you know, when I've had enough of it or whenever it's fallen apart, get a different one. Like in the pipeline, I'd like to try out a Highlander Blackthorn one man tent, another cheap little sort of wedge shaped tent. I've uh, spotted one on eBay that's like HTC, like a camouflage looking one. I thought that'd be quite good in the forest, and that's really cheap, it's about 30 35 pounds. Brand spanking new as well. This one's second hand, so yeah. Instructions. See if it gives us any specs on it. So of course it's it's an inner and a fly sheet. So it's two skin tents, steel pegs. It's got with it uh, fiberglass poles. So it, it's nothing fancy. It's a nice cheap little cheap and cheerful tent. And doo -doo 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 -doo, see if there's the weight on it or anything. I think it's about 1.5 kilos. So yeah. It's got that sort of a typical sort of ground sheet sort of material that uh oh what is it? It's like that plastic sort of coated ground sheet to it, sort of like tarpaulin, so really strong and really durable but not particularly light and they're not sort of the most compact as well, like they, they don't fold down very small but I say it's a cheap and cheerful little simple tent. That's the uh, the fly sheet. Yeah. So I've only got a small box for them, so I haven't really got the space to uh, unfold all of this. So that's your fly sheet. You got a little repair kit in there as well. That's your uh, your poles. So I think it's just one pole. I think the person said that I bought it off them. I think they said they'd never used it. I think they'd set it up when they first got it, never used it, put it away again. And then of course, and then they set it up, I think, just to take the photos for eBay. That was it. So yeah, it's those sort of poles. Well, one of them looks a little bit dodgy. Hang on a minute. Uh, let's have a look. Poles look a little bit corroded there. Maybe they've used it more than a more than just once. They seem all right. 
that you see the poles aren't particularly thick and they don't look the strongest so I don't know how strong they'll be let's say a simple little tent like this there's hundreds of Gilla solo tent reviews on YouTube I've been watching a few of them just to see what it's like and it's just a cheap little simple tent really you set up you know you know, ask your pegs, steel pegs, they are so heavy. <laughs> Blimey. Yeah, no, we'll definitely be getting rid of those. Look at those, they're like your standard sort of things. I mean, I, I could take sort of like four, five, six of them for like setting up a tarp or something, but really, yeah, no, I'm going to get rid of those. And uh, I, think that's, I think that's my next thing to do on eBay is stop buying shelters Tom and actually just buy loads and loads and loads of ultralight titanium pegs work out how many I need for my different shelters and just yeah buy buy a whole load of titanium pegs it probably cost me quite a bit but the amount of weight you save just getting rid of like the pegs because the manufacturers they always give you like bomb proof pegs that are never going to break never going to bend they always bend anyway and because they don't want to see it return, do they? The stuff, so they make it have really heavy stuff, and you, you don't really need that. So, yeah, you're getting rid of those fly sheet, uh, sorry, the ground sheet, like and the inner. You've got like, those loops, the, the poles will go through there, and then you peg it out. I love these sort of these tents, they're so basic and simple to set up, there's not really anything that can go wrong with them. And you know you've got a little porch way, like a little porch, a little vestibule to store some stuff. You can cook just inside the door. It's a push, and you know it's it's sort of cosy for one person inside. You can you know sort of fit in there. Maybe if you're really tall, you might struggle, and you know and you can fit some of your gear in as well and get a comfortable night's sleep. And they're low profile. You know they sort of blend in well, so. Right, ideal really yeah so what I'll do is I say I'll take this over to the forest set it up do a camp and I'll let you know how it goes so yeah cheers for watching uh, yeah just a quick quick un unboxing unpackaging really and yeah you'll see me in the next one see you later cheers